This is Alin from Javelin. In this video, I will attempt to demonstrate a second method for calculating the length of a bent wire and even try to associate that length to the length of a straight wire. In effect, trying to parametrically link the two lengths, as you can see from here. For that, I will use equations. First thing you might consider doing is using sensors. So let's go back to the moment in time where I just have an imported body. Looks like this. With sensors, you can get values in regards to the volume of the part or the volume of a body, which is even better, I'm going to say, because it focuses only on this specific body. If I add anything to it uh, as a separate body, it will ignore the other value. So you can see here I have the volume. I can also get the surface area. The problem with uh, sensors is that they cannot be used in equations. Hopefully we're going to see that as an enhancement in a future version of SOLIDWORKS. Because we cannot use sensors, let's try to use equations. One thing that I can do is calculate the diameter of the end face. And uh, you can do that. Let me just exemplify this with, uh, with a brand new value by using the measure tool that will enable you to add a reference uh, dimension right away without having to pre-create it before that. So allow me to, to cancel this. Just going to delete this global variable. This is how I created this one. It's in regards to a reference dimension that is being attached to, to that edge. The area of interest is based on the total area of the part, which can be obtained with the value called SW-surface area. As far as I know, this is new in SOLIDWORKS 2017, but I might be wrong. Minus the area of the end face. The total length of the wire would be the area of this face div uh, divided by the perimeter of an end face. And this is how I got to this number. In SOLIDWORKS 2016 or earlier, you can use a different uh, value. So instead of using the area of this face or the area of the part, you can use the volume of the whole part divided by the area of the end face. The, the problem with this approach is that if you add another body that is solid, so allow me to convert the end and extrude it with the length. Uh, let's do not merge the result and go in a different direction. Extrude it with the same length of the of the calculated length of the wire. So let's say this is going to be equal to. Let's pick it up from global variables. Equal to length. In effect, what happens is that this equation, which looks for the total surface area of the part will be influenced by the new value, the surface area of the new body. So you can see how the number doubles. So every time you hit rebuild, in effect, you will make this second body longer and longer and longer with the initial value of that uh, body. So this is not probably the best solution. One thing that I try to do is and allow me to delete the last equation I added here was to cheat by building a surface body. So this is a surface body based on a surface sweep and cap with two planar planes. And to my surprise, the surface area of the whole part ignores the surface area of the surface body. I totally understand why the volume the total volume of the part will not take this in consideration because the surface um, body does not have volume, but it's interesting that also is considered to lack area. So uh, this is my way of, uh, of cheating through this. One thing that's worth discussing is that you can get a good feedback about what can potentially create this type of circular references. If you go under options and message errors warnings, one of the options is to display potential circular references in equations. 
So allow me to have it at least in the equation dialog. Now if I'm going through the equations, you're going to see that areas are, uh, the area is uh, based on a value, a modal property that is potentially uh, the cause of circular references. And even it tells you what other global variables or um, equations would be affected. That being said, for demonstrations only, this works. So as you can see, as I'm making this longer or smaller, the surface body reacts accordingly. Thank you.